Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. This is the first Sunday of the month, so it's time for the monthly draw. I've dispensed with the buckets and now we'll do it electronically, so I'm going to go upstairs, play on the computer and pick a winner. Right, Ken, all you need to do is send me an email with your address and I'll get the prize posted off to you straight away. I'm going to do another draw next month. Once again, to enter the draw, all you need to do is comment on this video, subscribe to my channel and share it to a friend. And you must put the comments in the comment box saying 2023 giveaway 2. Simple as that. 2023 giveaway 2. In my random common picker, we'll pick that out and you'll win the prize. These are the prizes for next month's giveaway. We've got the normal set of Cleveland drills, YouTube Cup, friend of mine's channel, Make It Metal. Check them out, he does some really good stuff. Um, certainly well worth a look. What we've got here is an internal micrometer by Mitsuyo, which is probably some of the best gear you can get. It's absolutely brand new, it's not being used. We've still got all the protective grease and plastic on, and it is imperial. So that's certainly a prize worth having. If you happen to win this, and you haven't got a use for it, or you don't want it, give it to somebody that can. Um, in tonight's nightcap, I modified some wheel spacers, I do a little bit of plasma cutting, I cut some very, very thick copper plate. And I removed some studs from a turbocharger, uh, some broken studs, in the other worst I've done, and I've removed a lot of studs. It was going to be a quick 20 minute job, and I was on edges with the bastard things, and you are sure quite a lot of that. I've got another aluminium machining job to do, which is great because I haven't cleaned the lathe. I've got to modify these wheel spacers or wheel adapters, and I need to take out some material out of there to a certain size. To get them in the chuck, you could grip on there, but it's not ideal. Ideally, you want to be on the outside of there, so I need to remove the studs, unfortunately. So we'll go and take the studs out, put them in the chuck, clock them in, and then see how much we've got to take out of here. The background noise you can hear is my diesel heater trying to warm the workshop up. I can't work in here without it, so... I just apologise for the poor sound quality now. Bastard clumsy twat. He had just driven in into a spleen. He'll go back in, no problem at all. <coughs> Quite nicely made, nicely anodized. really careful I do and bump that I'm going to put a glove on just to try and keep it clean
I need to put a clock on and see how good it actually is. This chuck is really good. Right, that's within half a thaw there, that's certainly good enough what it's got to be. I'll just check that face there as well. Right, and that's dead on as well, so that's good. Right, we need this board out to 63.4 for the depth of 17 mil, so I've zeroed on that face there. And it's 17 mil in to the original shoulder, so that should be all right. Start the layer up and look yeah, because it's not been around for a, a couple of days. It's cooled. Right. I'm just going to shorten, shorten the stick out on that boring tool, so I can get away with that horrible squealing noise. These are probably made out of decent quality material. We normally are machine number four. There's a little overhangers we can possibly get. Just about there. This will be better. What I need to do now is be zero under there. will continue to take a very very light cut out of there for probably another pass a spring cut real fine one right so that's 63 sorry 64 point if you use a micrometer and get it really spot on with 63.2 you want 63.4 right last cut
Nine oh god, is sixty three point sixty three point four. I'll get a micro that and just see how accurate the vernier is. Right, that's a vernier. And it is absolutely spot on. So I'm happy with that. I'll put a little chamfer on there, just a little lead. So it goes on to his hub as intended. Just use a, a compound slide for that. That's a done little rag on there, take it out with a little bit of emery tape. But I'll not video it because people will complain profusely. These washers I've cleaned up, they've cleaned quite nicely, it's a little bit of work with the file, they fit what they're supposed to fit and I want to make sure that they're fully soft or fully annealed to do that, you heat them up to a, a cherry red and quench them in water, the quenching in the water bit doesn't make any difference to how soft you are, all it does is clean them. So we'll get them nice and warm, put them in the water and then they're ready for service. and pink, and soft and clean, ideal. So then when they're fully softened state, you can do this as many times as you want with copper, you can keep re it. In the old days we used to soften copper head gaskets and put them back and use them two or three times on the racing minis, no problem at all. 